Let's welcome Dr. Ahmad Radban to make his case presentations on chronic total occlusion of superficial femoral artery. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, it uh, was a very challenging uh, case uh, of a male patient, uh, 65 years old. Uh, he went for uh, angioplasty, uh, I think, three times before he came uh, uh, referred to my center with uh, such picture as we see. He uh, went for deploying many times uh, in different places. Uh, the first one was uh, the uh, stent in the proximal SFA and it covered part of the common femoral artery. And in another session, the patient went also for uh, uh, endovascular and uh, by two covered, uh, two stent overlapped in uh, the distal SFA. And it, uh, in fact, as we know, uh, to cross any lesion, we 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 uh, we uh, uh, have the concept that the the most difficult thing is to pass through occluded stent rather than the occluded uh, artery without stenting. So uh, the, the one of the times that the uh, the patient uh, failed two times to cross this lesion. One of them was retrograde through the uh, uh, infrabobletial and also directly from the distal stent, but it failed all these uh, trials. So we uh, uh, adopt a plan to, if we could manage uh, to uh, uh, cross the lesion uh, directly, uh, anti-grade contralateral uh, uh, approach. As we see here, the, 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 we, we, we managed to pass the wire from the first stint, but still uh, in, the, in the, uh, the, the, the part in middle SFA, which is also occluded and the distal stint occluded. So it was very difficult to uh, pass the wire by the normal way uh, from uh, uh, this uh, by this technique. That's why uh, we uh, decided to uh, go through directly the lesion, not subentimal place. And here we can see that we uh, after we cross the first stint and in the uh, in the distal part in the distal part of it we uh, advanced the catheter and managed to direct the uh, tail of the wire, the sharpest part of the wire, straight in the lesion, not subintimal. And we managed to cross the, uh, the stent to be intralumen. Here, we, I'll show you uh, the, this photo of the balloon. When uh, we made the balloon, how much tough the lesion is. You, you, you watch that the balloon pushed up by the tough of the lesion. It was very tough lesion, in fact. Once again, you can see that the balloon by the, by the lesion, it pushed up. Here we, we can see that the, the overlap part, it's a very tough part by the waist shown in the balloon. The other, the other uh, uh, challenging uh, part of, the, uh, of this case that after uh, we managed to uh, 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 advance the wire to the distal stint and at the uh, P1, at the Bobletia region, we couldn't cross uh, the, 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 the wire by the very tough lesion in the distal part of the stint. But after many trials and uh, other uh, uh, supporting catheter, I, I can pass uh, 0 18 wire and uh, pass through the uh, uh, 
the legion of the distal part to the uh, P2. And here the wire we can see pass through the anterior tibial artery. And after that, the missed part in the SFA, we, I put uh, a stint to, over, to, be, uh, to overlap the distal stint by the proximal stint. And this is the uh, uh, final image after managing to cross such region. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ahmad. Thank you. Any question? Yeah. Any question from our audience? And uh, uh, Dr. Lucas is uh, go to for a procedure, so he can join us with the discussion. And uh, Dr. Uh, is Dr. Yeah, I, I have Masaya? a question. Yeah, yeah. Have, do you have uh, any questions? Congratulations, Ahmad. It's a Thank very, you. Thank you, yeah, sir. It's a very difficult case, uh, challenging, yeah? Yeah. 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 I, I would like to know if you have uh, some experience with catheter, with like Rubicon or another catheter to cross the lesion. Do you have some experience or, or and you commonly use the catheter for this case or not? Yeah, you know, uh, my first intention in, uh, in uh, uh, managing such case that I, I need to go directly through the lesion, not in subintimal place, because uh, the, 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 the challenging problem, it wasn't the proximal stint or the distal, it was the territory of the SFA, uh, which is not covered by stint, because once you get out from the proximal stint, You've, you, you will find yourself directly in the subantimal space. And it's impossible to pass from subantimal base to an included stent intral lumen. That's why I, uh, we uh, adopt a plan to go directly by uh, the, the wire intral lesion. And it, it was helping to go with uh, the stiff wire by the tail of the stiff wire, supporting. Uh, uh, I advance, of course, the long she the, the crossover sheath to this area to give some support. And then with uh, uh, Jack can write it a tough tip uh, a bit near the proximal, uh, the, near the distal stint. And pushing the tail of the wire, and I can manage to pass through the intra uh, intra lesion in the distal part of the stent. But but after I, I managed this distal part, it was another challenging uh, uh, part, which the distal stent at the P uh, one. Uh, it it was very difficult to go through the lesion. That's why I adopt another supporting catheter. Uh, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> it was only catheter loaded on our zero team, but it did. I it, it passed through. Yeah. This supporting catheter can manage the, the, the problem with me. Yeah, congratulations for this case because in this case you need patience, time, and ability <laughs> because is. It's a very difficult to cross the lesion uh, after hyperplasia, huh? Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Congratulations, Dr. Ahmed. Dr. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. This is Mustafa. Uh, now, uh, uh, do you still need I sharing the, 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 the PowerPoint? You just um, give us a conclusion or review for your, ca for your cases no, just no. now? Fine. No thank need. You. No, no yes, need. So, thank you. Oh, no need. Okay. So I have a question. Um, 
uh, what's the situation you would choose the non-compliant balloon rather than semi-compliant balloon to dilate the lesions to compare with the semi-compliant balloon? Would you think the non-compliant one can have a lower artery defection rates? You know, uh, in such lesion, uh, uh, non-compliant balloon may uh, may uh, give some help, but in fact, uh, it was a, a semi-compliant uh, what I used. So, uh, uh, but I think uh, we need some uh, balloon which uh, the shaft of the balloon when you push can can withhold the obstruction distance. So uh, uh, it, it's not uh, a matter of uh, that the wire passed. The wire passed, but you, you can't advance the balloon distally to open. So I, I think the, 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 most, the most important thing in such case is the, is the, the shaft of the balloon. When you push, it's not kinking, it's not twisting. Uh, uh, and that's, I think, uh, which uh, helped me to manage uh, this uh, case. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ahmed Shukran. Thank you. So today's wonderful presentations and the comments. As an old Chinese proverb says, a workman must sharpen his tools first if he is to do his work well. Both men will we we are keep going to make breakthroughs in technology to provide more and more solutions. Now we have a, uh, a new member added to BrosMed PTA portfolio, the Taki 035 high pressure PTA balloon, which has received FDA clearance in July this year. We would also love to hear any clinical advice from you on the design of our new products so that we can do the best to bring tools for excellence. Thank you for the trust and support for us. For more information, you can search BrosMed website or contact us via email, sales at brosmed.com. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you, Dr. Thank you. Amita. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. See you, Doctor. Thank you, Dr. Matolo. Ahmad. Bye bye. Bye bye. We See have a good time together. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>